Hello friends, Jeff here from House of Heresy, and we are back with another Double Masters 2022 Collector Booster box opening. This is our seventh box of the case, the, the sealed case of booster uh, box collectors that we um, that we've uh, purchased. So that means we got two left. Overall, it's been a pretty solid uh, case. Can't complain. It's been uh, every box has been competitive in terms of uh, the pulls and stuff. No, we haven't been blown out of the water by any particular box. Uh, some have been stronger than others, but generally speaking, it's been pretty good pulls across the board. Um, I also would say that we haven't really hit any true home runs. The last box that we did, uh, box six, I think had five Mythics in it. Does that sound right? Five Mythics. And um, they were, I mean, they weren't like out of this world Mythics, but they were still, you know, pretty good. I think we had pulled a foil etched nickel bolus. It's probably the worst of the bunch there, but still uh, not terrible. So we have not pulled any of the texture foiled cards for this case yet. So hoping we will get at least one. Obviously more would be, would be extremely exciting, but you know what? I'm not going to get greedy here. Um, and I really can't complain because overall it's been great. So much fun getting to finally open the product. I had to work over over the weekend, over release weekend, so I've been slowly going through them now that I've had some time to sit down and open what I ordered and make these videos. So we got a couple uncommons there. Let's spell Pierce, Lesnia Sanctuary. First rare is a rare and it's a fairy's protection. Alright. We have actually done pretty well. We've averaged at least one good pull um, from the pack foil slot in each box, which is that that's that's all I can ask for. There's so many not good pulls in the uh, the pack foil and the etched foil slots that if we can get at least you know one that's pretty decent in each box, then I, I consider that a win because these are to me these are kind of freebie slots. I mean, obviously you can hit home runs, but the likelihood of that's pretty low with how much competition for cards there are in there. All right. For the first borderless, we got a rare surgical extraction. Very nice. It's awesome art. Probably not the most practical card for a commander deck for it to go into, unless you know you're playing against like relentless rats or something like that. Persistent pet petitioners. All right, in the S foil, we have Phyrexian Altar. Very nice. Whoops. Oh, okay. All right, well. Slipped out of my hand, and that is amazing. This was quite the pack. So, in three of the four slots, the three of the four rare slots, we did quite well. Not going to argue about that. Phyrexian Altar is amazing, and that artwork is incredible. And this is our first Force of Negation um, in the Borderless. We, we did pull one etched foil. That is such a pretty card. I love it. So nice. So nice. Really glad I get to see it in person. Hold it in my hand. All right. That was awesome. And that's just a rare, even though it's a really, really nice rare. Okay. Whew. All right. Well, we are starting up pretty strong. This, that was a good pack. There are not a ton of packs that have quite that high quality across the, uh, across the slots there. All the different cards. All right, so we got a Thought Scour. We got an Isid Blue Works. We got a Coiling Oracle in the Foil Borderless. Oops. A Blood Artist in the uh, Foil Borderless. Very nice looking card. All right, first one of this pack is a rare. Grand Arbiter, Augustine IV. Okay, buddy who uh, loves this card. It's one of his commander decks. Very painful to play against, but it's a good time. All right, in the borderless foil, or sorry, borderless non-foil, rare, privileged position, very nice. This is a pretty cool card. I don't actually think I've pulled the non-foil version of this, but it looks like this one would be a lot of fun to play with. And in the border, or, uh, etched foil, greater Gargadon. All right, I actually don't think I've pulled one of these, so I guess I was due. All right, and then in the final slot, we have a rare. All right, I guess we're going to double up on the old... Grand Arbiter in the foil. I'm actually not sure if I pulled him in foil yet. I can't remember, but 
that's cool. You know, it's it's no force of negation, but it's still uh, it's a pretty card. All right, that pack not quite as good. Privilege position was nice, but uh, the rest of them not as great. No offense, Grand Arbiter, or my friend who uh, plays him. Sorry, Zach. Okay, so then we got Quasali, Quasali Pride Mage. It's funny, until I opened this case, I hadn't opened any of them, or pulled any of him in the border list, and I've been, everyone else was pulling a million. All right, Young Pyromancer. This is only my second one of him, so he is probably one of the more uncommon uncommons that, uh, for as far as like my luck goes. And I don't think I have him in the foil yet, so that's really nice. We got, hey, hey, there he is again, Mr. Chrysali. Okay, first rare. Is a rare. Lava Lanch, all right, I don't think I pulled that one. I know it's not a great card, but that's pretty cool art. That city's just getting wrecked. All right, and for the next one, the Anger of the Gods, all right. Not the most exciting. And for the Etched Foil, Hydroid Crisis. I don't think I actually, uh, I don't think I pulled one in the foil, or etch foil yet. I think I pulled a couple foil ones. And for the last side, it's a mythic. It's a mythic. Muldrotha the Grave Tide. Okay. Not the most exciting mythic. I think I've already pulled her. But, you know, it's a pretty solid commander. Very popular. In fact, of the Double Masters 2022, according to... Um, according to Idiot Trek, that is the most popular commander, or at least it is the most decks submitted for, for Muldrotha out of all the commanders that are available from this set. So there you go. And we pulled it. All right, Burning Tree Emissary. Spell Pierce. We got another Burning Tree Emissary. This is the pack of redundancy, I guess. Or the box of redundancy. Azorius Chancery. Going to a rare. All right, I have not pulled uh, pulled her yet, but uh, kind of cool looking card. We have a mythic. It's a planeswalker. Nice. I have not pulled a Liliana yet in the borderless. Pulled two in the foil edge, but look at that art. So pretty. That is awesome. Very nice. Very very nice. Wow. Okay, that was a good pull. I'm pretty happy about that. All right, we got a rare in the Etch Foil Dex Duplicate. Well, I've not pulled yet, so again, the completionist in me is happy. The player and collector in me is not. All right, and the last card of this box is a Mythic. It is a big boy. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. We have pulled our textured foil. Mr. Ulamog, the Infinite Jiry himself. And he is as beautiful as an Eldrazi could be. I'm sure his mother loves him. But that is a beautiful, beautiful card. Very, very nice. Uh, that's pretty exciting. I pulled uh, I pulled Emrakul in, uh, in just a random box that I had ordered from as part of the pre-order from a different, different uh, vendor. I want to say it was Amazon. So to get two with only having one case is pretty nice. Because outside of getting a case, I think the likelihood is fairly low that you would pull it in a box. Beautiful. And the last card in the pack, too. That seems to be somewhat common in the uh, different videos that I've seen. So, all right. We are going to take a moment, and we are going to sleeve him because he is a pricey little boy there. Mr. Uh, Mr. Big Man. So we will actually double sleeve him. That is usually what I do with my cards. I'd rather just take the time, pay the extra money to try to keep everything nice and pristine as much as I can. All right, so there we go. Ulamog in textured foil. That is great. All right, so this I would consider to be by far the most home run pack we've got. It's still, um, I mean, I, it's not over the top in this, uh, like obviously getting a textured foil is amazing, but the rest of it wasn't like super crazy. So not 
not what I would consider to be like completely over the top, but still, I mean, getting Ulamog textured, getting Liliana in the borderless, I'll drop this kind of there. Um, Force of Negation, pretty good. That first pack was awesome. And the borderless foil, that's pretty exciting. And then didn't really get anything too crazy in the um, in the non-foil borderless. But we did get some solid pulls in the pack rare, or a solid pull in the pack rares with the Teferi's Protection. And then same thing in the etched, our first one. First pack. First and last pack, where was that? If the middle two had some pretty spicy hits, this would have been a home run, but I will take it. This was great. All right, well, thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a great uh, time watching this. I certainly enjoyed getting to open that, so very excited, if you can't tell. Um, and if you liked what you saw, give me a like. If you want to see what's coming, so we've got one box left in the case and lots of other fun content that will be coming down the road, uh, please give us a subscribe and then throw some comments in there. Has anyone else pulled uh, a textured foil yet? If, uh, if so, let us know. We will uh, hope you have a great day, and we will see you next time.